leaving the uh, rock fish gap area and headed down the trail or up the trail actually we headed north <clears throat> Stayed at Stanimals last night. Uh, went and ate at the uh, Flying Pizza, New York Flying Pizza. They had some really good lasagna. It was great. The bunk mattress could use some help. But all in all, it's a nice place to stay. A great big house. Lots of... Uh, rooms and move around and real close to the uh, resupply of uh, like Dollar General, Walmart, CVS, Family Dollar, all that. It's real close by. It was great. I do recommend staying there. That's in Waynesboro and also the one in Glasgow. We stayed there last year. It was great. So, here we're going. It was a short little walk from up there, down there. To where you enter enter the woods my calves are burning that short little walk Oof. free vein all right we got our permit filled out got them put in the box Got the one I keep on me, and let me grab my poles. <clears throat> you have to have the permit to hike through the Shenandoahs. Off we go, we are officially in the Shenandoah National Park. We're nearly two and a half miles in. The uh, <clears throat> initial climb out of Rockfish Gap yeah, was pretty, pretty good climb, decent, and uh, then it just kind of turned off to a gradual climb. It'll be like this all the way to the top. It's not anything terribly strenuous. It's just a little ups and downs. And it's not bad. It's really pretty through here. You can hear that train off in the distance at Waynesboro. I'm liking the stroll this morning, though I'm already sweating pretty good, and it's not even the hot part of the day. It's supposed to, it's nine o'clock now. <clears throat> Temperatures are supposed to be near 80, I think, today. Maybe won't be too bad since we'll be at higher elevations. It's a nice little walk though. I'm really enjoying this trip so far. Even with the crazy shoe ordeal yesterday. I got it, uh, I stitched up the hole <clears throat> as best I could. Then I put, I bought some shoe goo, shoe goo, and put over the top of it. It's not the prettiest, but I'm, I'm thinking it'll, it'll hold. I got in touch with, uh, Topo, the company that made the shoes, and I'll send them pictures, tell them what happened, and uh, see what they say they'll do about it, if they will. They should. I only wore them three days. We'll see. This is a beautiful area. These purple flowers. You can't see them back there, but there are tons of them on the other side of this little brush pile. I wish I knew what they were. That's a little bit different flower than I've been seeing, actually. Wow. They're gorgeous.
Ah, glad we don't have to depend on this water source. Windy water would be sketchy this morning. Well, all day actually. Look at the flowers. So we carried two liters. Headed down into McCormick Gap. And goodness gracious, how did you come start down? It is some kind of steep. I can't see it from here, but oh mercy. I'd hate to be coming down that in the rain. It'd be slippery. I might, might as well just sit on your butt and slide all the way down. Glad I'm not going south now because that's going to be a heck of a climb. Oh, must be private land over there. Right, this is the gap. McCormick Gap. Oh, I guess we have to cross the fence. I hate doing that. I hope there's a gate. Looks like there might be. Climbed up out of McCormick Gap, which is a short, pretty steep little climb, but not bad. Across the real tiny meadow where it was super hot. And then we got into all these ferns. I love it. If I was a bird, I'd swoop down low and fly in those ferns and like let them tickle my belly. Because they look like they'd be so soft. I guess they are soft. Ugh. I love it. <clears throat> hmm, propane tank. Oh, there's that communications tower. I don't know how they... Oh, there it is. I see exactly how they get too much off those with all the trees in the way, but now I see. Radiation hazard. I better get the heck out of here. There's even more communications stuff. Well, look at here. <laughs> you found you a nice seat, didn't you? I got a great seat. Oh, I love it. I ain't sitting on that one. <laughs> Alright, did you try this one? I wonder what that is. Well, I'm gonna plop my little booty right there. A little springy. <laughs> this is great. Ouch. That's not that great. This one has some uh, lumps in it. There it goes. This is Beagle Gap. Ooh, look at that van. That's what I'm gonna live in one day. It's pretty.
We made it. Oh my word. Right over there, that's where we were. Yeah. Not too long ago. That's neat to be able to look back and see where you were. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> lunch, even though now I've almost consumed it, beef and cheese sticks, and some of these, and I found out that's pretty tasty inside the tortilla too, I had to stop just on this random rock to eat, should be rolling down into, I think it's Jarman Gap here in a little bit, I think that uh, first water source coming up is in about two tenths, and then another one I can't remember how, how far after that. I think they've got, they've planted some, I guess, certain trees they want to grow here. They've got protective pipes around it. It's not pipes, but corrugated plastic board. I hate walking under a power line. It's so freaking hot. I'm about eight and a half miles in um, for today from Rockfish Gap. And about two and a half away from our proposed landing point. <clears throat> My next stop, though, is going to be water, which is in three tenths, two or three tenths. It's supposed to be a pipe spring. That'd be great. It has gotten pretty hot. I'm really sweating. Especially everywhere where my pack is touching. But, uh, other than that, I'm feeling pretty decent, considering it's fourth day. It's usually about third, fourth day is when it really, really hits. I think going into town yesterday helped a lot, since we got there a little earlier than we anticipated. We had a lot of the day to uh, have the weight, the backpack weight off of us. Anyway, we still had a lot of chores to take care of, but we weren't lugging our packs. <clears throat> but my shoe the shoe goo I put on there is still holding uh, the shoes are feeling better today I didn't really get to break them in before I left I just didn't have time <coughs> so it's just taking a little bit uh, that and the new insoles as well but the feet are feeling pretty decent today I mean they hurt some just of pressure from all the extra weight of the pack but surprisingly the toes aren't going numb um, they're just overall feeling better we shouldn't be too far from where we're supposed to we're planning to land for the night we're having to carry a lot of extra water because there's no water at that spot plus the next we're not sure how far uh, tomorrow. Somebody may be um, putting water caches in about four and a half miles from where we were stopping. Or maybe that's from back there. I don't know. Several miles up the trail. It's a possibility that there's water there. But I can't count on it because that's not always the case. A lot of people come through and get it. We may not have any. So we're carrying... Um, at least four liters and a little, little bit extra, which is each liter consists of a, is a, weighs two pounds, so that's two, four, six, eight 
pounds of nothing but water. So I'm basically carrying maybe six pounds extra, five to six pounds extra on me right now. And it's weighing me down. We just climbed that up that little mountain. It was a little but it was bad because of the extra weight. Now we're going down and of course that weight's pushing down on the knees. And I've got water strapped to the top. Whew. It's tough. This is all part of it though. Well, that campsite at six tenths up from that other gap wouldn't accommodate us. So we, we're now, I don't know how much farther the, the next gap, Turk's gap, Turk gap, and still have no sight. All right, well, we're still heading north. We just left Turk gap because there wasn't anything where around there to camp. Anyway, while we were there, some people came up and uh, gave us some uh, lemon iced tea, a Snapple lemon iced tea. It was so awesome. Trail magic, for sure. We needed that big time. <clears throat> we're hoping we're going to run into some flat spots somewhere up here. Why? I'm talking to my camera. Did I walk right by? Oh snap. A okay. I hope so. Maybe this is it. Alright, we got it all set up. Now yeah. to relax. <laughs> 